Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I'm recording this video is 5th of December 2023. I'll be talking what 4th of December has taught me in life. We as a doctors, we see so many patients every day in our practice. From every patient, there are so many things we can learn. Uh, from every incidence which happens in the hospital while examining the patients, we can learn so many things. It's just our perspective which matters. That's what probably the most important lesson I got from yesterday's life. That uh, whenever uh, you do your work with all the passion and all the efforts and the condition of the child improves, uh, especially with all the uh, well wishes of, of the relatives and the body strength of that child, uh, all the people there, including relatives, the patient, the doctors are so happy. What lesson I got from yesterday's such incidents, I'll be trying to discuss in this video about that. Most important news I came across yesterday is about a very specific and interesting invention from Glasgow University. Scientists from that have discovered a new way to monitor heart rate without a stethoscope. They are using artificial intelligence, a laser beam and a quantum technology so all these three latest things will make sure that the person's heart rate is monitored regularly this can be used at a common places like restaurants and mall etc where so many public places uh, where you can monitor heart rate of the people and to some extent we can have some detection of abnormalities like uh, arrhythmia or irregular heart rate etc at common public places so it might replace use of stethoscope in future at some places like this. So what is that news all about? I'll be discussing in this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Most trending news I came across yesterday is obviously about the share market. Indian share market reached the highest levels ever all time high it reached. Both the indices Sensex and Nifty crossed their previous highs and they surpassed they made sure that they close at the highest position so nifty closed at around 20,686 and the sensex closed at more than 68,800 something like that so what are the interesting things we should know about that i'll be discussing in this video at the end in the trending news section most important lesson i got from yesterday is that it is from that uh, incidence where a patient got treated the child was admitted immediately after birth with lot of respiratory distress and the child had passed meconium that is he has passed stool inside the womb of the mother before the birth and immediately after the birth baby did not cry these things happened at a at another hospital and immediately within four or five hours of birth the child was brought to our hospital and we treated that child the child got uh, better and better as the treatment was going on and finally we were able to discharge that child. The most important lesson I got from the whole story <clears throat> is that not only doctor's efforts, not only the patient's response to the uh, treatment which has been given to the child, most important thing also in the management is relative's response. If a mother of that if the mother of that child or the father parents all the relatives are in synchrony if they follow all the good advice whatever doctor treating their child is giving them definitely results uh, they come better way so that was probably the most important lesson while uh, discharging that child also all the parents met me they thanked all of us for whatever service we had given to the child and they were so happy that uh, the child got better uh, i know that sometimes there might be a situation where things can go wrong in a child's condition uh, things can go in completely unexpected way the way doctor expects or the way even patient expects uh, there can be many difficulties in the management of the child <coughs> yes yeah. commonly as far as intensive care is concerned but one thing is for sure <coughs> if you have faith you will get better results probably uh, that was the underline of the things which i learned while uh, talking to those relatives while they were going back with happy faces and smiling 
smiles on their faces because of the child had got cured uh, after almost 8 to 10 days of treatment <coughs> the condition in which the child had come in ambulance and the child was quite critical when admitted uh, gradually on giving treatment and all the child improved and finally we were able to discharge that child the story might be similar to what you people also might have experienced in the past if you are a doctor uh, it might be there might be some changes in this story but the crux of this story might remain same i would say <clears throat> and that crux is relatives uh, well wishes relatives patients relatives resilience to continue that treatment for their child the child's response uh, physical response everything the child's uh, capability of overcoming the hurdles which are coming in his or her health and the doctor's treatment and doctor's uh, availability or the facilities available makes will make sure the child becomes better probably that was the most important lesson i got from yesterday's life <clears throat> most important news i came across yesterday is about a very useful invention i would say scientists from glasgow university have discovered a newer way of monitoring heart rate this can be used at public places like malls or restaurants or wherever uh, railway stations etc to make sure that we screen the heart rate of the people uh, within fraction of seconds and which will make us to detect some of the abnormalities commonly present just before a major mishap for example if someone is going to have cardiac arrest or something like that or irregular heart rhythms heart beat those can be detected with this instrument which which has been discovered or manufactured by glasgow university they have they are trying to patent it also what it is doing it is giving a laser beam to the throat of the patient and with the smallest of the movements of the vessels of the neck which are due to the contraction of the heart and relaxation of the heart during a cardiac cycle it is being able to detect heart beat it is using artificial intelligence it is using quantum technology plus it is using that laser laser beam it's very interesting and i would say that this might be the future of monitoring heart rate at a public place i'll be sharing link in the description box if you really want to know what is this all instrument all about how it actually works and how it can nullify the other artifacts such as chest movements etc uh, you please go to the description box and click on the link the point i wanted to stress here is that this might be the thing which might replace stethoscope which has been the sole uh, companion of all the doctors from so many years in 19th century french physics french surgeon lenac rene theophile discovered this stethoscope and since then even today when we see a patient we have to have a stethoscope so these kind of instruments are having potential that they might replace stethoscope in future at such common places and that's very huge potential for any instrument or any in innovation i would say please read more about that in the description box most trending news i came across yesterday is about share market yesterday indian share market indices sensex and uh, nifty 50 they all broke all the records and they reached all time high sensex finally closed at around 68000 800 something 65 something and nifty 50 closed at around 20686 that's a huge number for any indices uh, which have been trading at around 100 many years back around 1986 something like that the sensex and nifty were around 100 or few hundreds only and now we are trading at thousands so many times of that that's a huge potential india is showing to the whole world thanks to uh, day before yesterday's results of some of the assembly polls in the state where bjp won people have more confident on the government and most importantly what the share market needs is that they want a stable government the stable government will definitely be a good factor for nation's development that's what people think and whenever uh, these kind of events happen where bjp has won 3 out of almost 4 states day before yesterday in the assembly polls people thought that this is a good opportunity to show confidence on the government and they will definitely try to invest 
even the fii is foreign institutional investors also are back in the uh, share market i would say they they are showing their more interest in india even more than before so that was the most trending news i just wanted to share with you all if you really like all these discussions please like share and subscribe to my channel for today we'll stop here bye bye